Hi, um, today I'm just going to show you um, what we have as a what we call a test rig. So this shows you how a fan can perform with um, a bit of resistance. So when you uh, fit a fan, any ducting, bends, flexible ducting and uh, grills will all add resistance. Flexible ducting is the worst because it's highly resistive. But this is showing you maybe a, a length of rigid ducting, a 90 degree bend and then some resistance that might be from a grill. So this could be a a ceiling mounted fan with a 90 degree bend on the back and then going to outside or it could be sort of through the wall with a, a bit of ducting on it and then a grill. Um, I'm just going to show you first our Silent 100 fan. So this is the Environment Silent 100, um, a standard actual fan but you'll see if I put the fan on the rig here, so what will happen, it'll actually push the globe up showing you that the fan copes quite easily with that resistance. So it's drawing the air in and pushing it all the way up. So it's showing you how strong the fan is and how it will cope with that little bit of extra resistance that you may get from the installation. If I take the fan off, the globe drops back down. So it's a nice simple, simple effect, uh, showing you how the fan can perform. One of the other fans I've got here, um, and again, this is our Environment 100, but it's, it's what we call the design ridge. It's got this nice front cover on. Um, now, what I'm about to show you here uh, isn't showing you the fan that isn't, it's not very powerful. It's showing you just how this grill can affect the performance of the fan. So this fan is ideally only suited to go straight through a wall. If you start ceiling mounting it, although it's, it, you know, it could be ceiling mounted, it is IPX rated, there's no issues with that, you're gonna reduce the performance of the fan. And just by having this front cover on, you'll see, just by having that on, it doesn't move the globe. But if I gently just move that away, the globe moves. So that's just showing you, if you've got a fan that's on a ducted system, although it looks nice, it's not coping with that extra resistance. So this fan wants to be mounted straight through a wall or on a, a short length of ducting, maybe a metre of rigid duct or anything like that. If you start installing it in a complicated system or a lot of flexible duct, it's not going to cope with it. You need to go to the other fan. So although it's a nice looking fan, it's got a nice strip on there, lovely front cover, straight through a wall, yes, any other way, then you know, maybe just double check with, uh, with ourselves to make sure it would be suitable. Um, what I'm also going to show you now, um, just as I've got them here, I've got another fan here. So the first thing you notice, uh, this is um, one of your, your, your lower end fans, sort of something you maybe get a, a budget fan, what we call it. Um, it's not one of ours, so hence I've just taped it up so you can't see the manufacturer. But the first thing you'll notice, there's a lot of noise coming from the fan. So it's quite a noisy fan, but also, just by putting it on the back of there, it's not coping with that resistance. But straight away, it's not doing anything with the fan. And just to show you, I can put our Silent 100 back on and the globe will lift up. So although the fan, you know, it's not saying that the fan's no good, again, it's probably only ideal straight through a wall. If you put it on a complicated system or any length of ducting with a bend, this fan's going to be no good. I'm also just going to show you one more fan. I'll just turn that one off. Got one more here. So again, this fan a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, but again, you'll see with this fan, it just can't cope with that resistance on the system. So what you've got here, because the ball's not moving up, the air's actually coming back out of the fan. So if you get any fans where the air's coming back out, it's not generally the fan. You can't wire it up the wrong way so the motor spins the other way. And most of these fans will have an AC motor. Some will have an EC motor on them, uh, or they may have a DC, but if you wire it the wrong way, the motor isn't gonna spin the other way. It's the air's coming back out because it can't push it through the system. So it's coming back out, so you're not going to get rid of that moisture. So it's quite important that you get a nice, good, powerful fan that will cope with the system you've got. I.e. if you've got a long length of ducting, maybe two metres of flexible ducting, um, anything like that, you need a powerful fan that will cope with it. Um, that's sort of it on the fans. I've got one more I'm just going to show you. Um, now this is a slightly different fan. This is what we call our Eco DMEV. This is a continuous running fan, so it's designed to run all the time. Just bear with me a second while I turn that fan off. Just so you can hear me. So this is continuous running. Now, um, it's designed to run at a low rate all the time, would come under system free of building regs, and then it will go to a higher rate when required. Um, although it's running all the time, it's very energy efficient, doesn't cost a lot to run, and it is actually better for ventilation. Um, being a continuous system, but as I say what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on there, what you'll see with this fan, although it's running at a low rate, 
This is quite an intelligent fan. It's what we call a constant volume fan. So it's detected that resistance on the system and it's automatically speeding itself up to coat with that. Which is a really good feature because if you've got wind blowing back down or the ducting's quite a complicated system, this fan is still going to achieve the airflow um, it needs to do to meet building regulations. Rather than without the constant volume technology, you may reduce the airflow, it's not going to meet regulations, or it might not cope with that resistance. Um, so it's going to do that, and I can take it back off, and it'll drop back down again. And what I can do, the fan is quiet, but I do have a button here. I can boost it up to its higher rate, it's still coping with that resistance on the system. And again, I just take it off there, and it's really good. And that's it really, it's just showing you our test rig. Again, we have other fans that we can test on there. But it's a really good simple way of just testing the, uh, the performance of a fan and how it copes with that resistance. Uh, that's it for me, hopefully I'll see you soon.